Today we're going to show you how to replace kitchen unit doors and handles. This kitchen is perfectly pleasant and functional, but by simply changing the kitchen doors, you can give it a whole new look, can't you Terry? Base and wall units typically come in standard sizes, so door and drawer fronts are usually interchangeable. However, do check all measurements carefully before you buy. You'll need a pencil, paper and a tape measure for this. Start by drawing a simple layout of your existing kitchen, showing all the doors and drawers and the position of the handles. It doesn't have to look perfect. Measure all of your doors and drawer fronts and note these measurements down on your drawing. There's no need to measure the units as you won't be changing these. Don't assume all your door and drawer fronts will be the same measurement. It's best to check them all, just in case. If your kitchen is very old or non-standard, you probably won't be able to reuse your existing hinge fittings. This type of hinge is much more common. It's the standard concealed type hinge. So next, we need to work out how many new concealed hinge fittings you'll need. Most doors need two hinges, but larger doors may need three hinges, so let's get counting. Once you have your measurements and the number of hinges you'll need, you can go out and buy your new door and drawer fronts. Also, think about the handles. You'll be surprised at what a difference they can make to the look of your kitchen. On base unit doors, handles usually sit about 90 millimeters down and 30 millimeters in from either top corner. And on wall unit doors, they are about 90 millimeters up and 30 millimeters in from either bottom corner. Alternatively, use our handle drilling guide for the exact information. When you're drilling holes to fix the handles, you'll need to use a drill bit that's suitable for use on wood and of the right diameter. Try and use a new drill bit if possible. A top tip here, if you start the hole with a trusty brad hole, it'll guide the drill and stop it skidding across your shiny new door and ruining it. Drill through from the front of the door to the back. Pack a piece of scrap wood behind the door so that you get a nice clean exit hole. Keep your fingers well away from the exit hole while drilling. Then, screw the handles in firmly from the back of the door. Here we're going to fix the new doors using standard type concealed hinges. To fix the hinge to the door, simply push the round part of the hinge into the circular recess in the door. They only fit one way. The hinges are then secured with the screws provided. If necessary, use a braddle to make a small hole to start the screw. Each door hinge needs to be attached to a hinge mounting plate. The hinge mounting plate needs to be fixed to the inside of the unit. If they don't line up with your old fitting, measure and mark the new position of the fitting according to the instructions, then screw it in place. If concealed hinges are being used for the first time, or if the hinge recesses in the doors don't line up with the position of your old fittings, it will be necessary to mark a new position for each hinge mounting plate. This can be done by temporarily attaching the hinge mounting plates to the hinges that have been fixed to the doors and then offering up the door to the unit and marking the required positions for the mounting plates. Alternatively, you can take down the measurements to find your drilling position. The doors can now be fitted by carefully positioning each hinge onto the mounting plate and tightening the securing screw. The actual method of attachment varies from hinge to hinge and may involve sliding or clipping the hinge into the mounting plate. It's best to attach the top hinge first to help support the door. Don't worry about lining up the door gaps yet, just attach the hinges to the mounting plates. When all the doors are on, the final adjustments to the door gaps are made by turning the hinge adjustment screws like this. If the door heights need to be altered slightly, the screws that fix the hinge mounting plates can be loosened and the hinge mounting plate can be moved up or down before the screw fixings are retightened. That's the last one done. Great stuff, Terry. They're all lined up with lovely even gaps. So there you go, from traditional to contemporary in just one day. For more ideas and know-how, visit DIY.com.